Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna do a video that we're pretty excited for. We have ranked our top 10 must do's in the parks, but we've done it a little bit differently this time. We've done it separately. Yeah, so we, uh, we each made a list of our 10 favorite things that we specifically like to do. So every time we go to the parks, like this is what we want to accomplish. All right, so we are each going to go through our own list, and I'm going to have Levi start out with his number 10 thing to do in <clears throat> the parks. All right, so my number 10 is buy a souvenir cup. Um, so we've bought souvenir cups the last two times we went, this past time being the Jurassic Park cup, and then the time before that we got the Earl the Squirrel Christmas cup. It's right there. It's right there, yeah. Um, so when you buy these souvenir cups, obviously you get the free refills for the day, uh, and you get to take home a, a pretty cool cup. So when I take it to school or use it in the living room, I can flex it. This is a good one. Yeah. I didn't put it on my list, actually, uh -huh. but it's a good one. It, it is a good one. I feel like I recommend this to literally everyone, but I just didn't put it on my must-dos because I felt like mm. there was just like so much to do in the park that I... I don't know. I just didn't get that put it souvenir. On. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It is. It's awesome. It is. Every time you look at it, it makes you happy. Like literally every time anyone tells me they're going to Universal, I tell them to get one of the free stock cups. So. Yeah, so worth it. It's definitely a must do. It just didn't make my list somehow. Mm, so. That's a shame. My number ten is to ride the Seuss trolley train ride at night. It's just like huh. the best vibes at night. It Seuss is. Seuss Landing is so cute at night. It is. Um, it's definitely a ride that's. 10 times better at night just based on the lights and the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, I even like looking across the pond and you can see like the Hulk all lit up and the Velocicoaster. You get good yeah. views of the parks. Yeah. I really like the ride. Like I would certainly do it. Did not make my top 10, but it's, I definitely recommend it. That's I, a good ride. Yeah. Especially I at night. It. That's a good one, huh? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> one. No, I didn't, I didn't put that down. All right. All well, right. my number nine, we'll see if you have this one. My number nine is hit up the tribute store because the tribute store is always changing and it's just something that literally every time you take a trip, it's probably going to be different if you're like an out of state, like park goer. Yeah. So tribute store. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. I had that as my number six. So Ooh. the tribute, yeah, the tribute store is fun. Yeah. So right now it's Jurassic Park. We've hit that one up and it's really good. It is. When we go back, we're definitely going to hit it again. Um, but it's always something to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, they always do a pretty good job. At H -H -N, theming. Yeah, Christmas. each individual room. So a lot of unique merch in there, too. Um, a lot of throwbacks to old stuff. Like, it's it's cool. Yeah. But that was my number six. So. I think, like, that's one that I was like, this should probably be higher, but yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. I always, I always, and I'll go into it multiple times per trip. Like, when you're passing, oh, let's go in here. Check it out again. Yeah. And I feel like there's always something, like, that... You that, you, that you miss that you see like the next time you go in. Yeah, so. it's good. Yeah, it's cool. I'm going to cross that one out. All right, what's your number nine? Uh, so my number nine was, depending on the weather, I'm going to get a hot or a frozen butter beer. Um, obviously, in the colder yeah. months, I'm going to get a hot butter beer. And when it's hot outside, I'm going to have frozen butter beer. But they are both delicious, and i got to have it. Don't get the regular butter beer. This no. is on my list, too, just like in a different way. It's included in something else that we'll get to. But... Definitely get a butter beer, so good. Just don't get the regular yeah. one because it's overrated. No. And don't get the ice cream either. Ice cream sounds like a good idea, but it's just like soft serve butter beer. It's fine, but the frozen butter beer is definitely the move when it's the hot outside. The frozen butter beer so is so freaking good, unbeatable. It's like so good. If it was at like Starbucks, I'd get it. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, if you get a theme park food outside of the theme park, like it's pretty you know good. It's, good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Um, so I'm my number eight now? Yeah. Okay. So my number eight is Jurassic Park River Adventure. Like, like I just love that ride. It didn't make my list yeah. only because it's in such bad shape right it, now. It's not in good shape. I miss my Brachiosaurus animatronic. Yeah. And like, even when that animatronic <laughs> had its head in the water, at least it was there. It was now there. Now it's just walls. He made kind of half an effort, you know, like... <laughs> But, uh, no, I, I especially love the beginning of the ride. It's kind of like a living with the land theme. Um, I hate when it goes off course, but it's, I guess it's part of it. I don't, yeah. I don't I know. I mean, like, it's really, really good at the beginning. Like, if mm. it was basically Pirates of the Caribbean, that'd be pretty sweet. But... I love it. It's such a good ride. <laughs> I love it. I want to do it every time. It is a great ride. I've, like, I've done it in the winter. Like, it's cold, whatever. You just got to do it. It's fun. It didn't make my list. Mm, that's a shame. I mean, this is crazy. I didn't know we'd have so many different ones. All right, so All right. my number eight was take King's Cross to Hogsmeade. Yeah. 
So taking the train from King's Cross to Hogsmeade specifically is the best way to do it. So if you're at the parks and you're looking for like a good Harry Potter themed ride, it's fantastic. The queue's great. The storyline's great. It's just a good ride. Yeah, it's. I think it's one of the best queues probably in Orlando just because like it's, it's based so, so much realistic. off the movie. Yeah, and seeing the train for the first time is like super cool coming out of there. And then the uh, platform nine and three quarters, like running through the door. It's good. Yeah, it's it's cool. Um, did it make your list? It did, like halfway. So okay. there's another aspect to it that All I'll right, talk about. All right, so yeah. mine. All right, so at least we both <laughs> yeah, have we'll like some weird like caveats to our list. Yeah, there is. Well, it's just you know it's kind of a two part <laughs> two part problem. Yeah, I'll okay. go. Um, my number seven is one that I feel like people are gonna be like, what? Why? It just is okay. Like this one just is. It's great. You should do it if you've never done it. You need to grab a coffee or grab an ice cream and go hang out in the New York City section. It's just perfect. Nothing better. Is that your number one? That was my number seven. Oh. No, no that way. was my number seven. <laughs> yeah, seven. yeah. Have a coffee in, in New York is what it says. <laughs> wow, that's wild. <laughs> no, no it's all that. Wow, well, that kind of blows my mind. Um, no, like it sounds weird. You were looking at me, and I was like, is that your number one? <laughs> no, no. It's one of my favorite things to do, but number seven, number seven. That's crazy. So, at the end of the day, like, it's been a long day. You really don't want to ride anything else. Yep. But you don't want to leave yet. And I think the New York part of Universal Studios is, like, really underrated. It's so good. Like... People don't really hang out there. They don't. Like, there's always open tables outside of, like, haagen or that... Starbucks or like right beside the uh, the arcade, but yeah. like it's a great place to people watch. It's like super chill, and especially like when it's dark, nighttime. Nighttime is the best time to do this. I was gonna say that. <clears throat> the atmosphere is unbeatable. Like it's a really it, great. It's like the chillest vibes. Uh, people are exhausted. You see them like just slugging their way out of the park, and they're literally just like walking past you. You're sitting there listening to the music, sipping on your coffee. It's great. It is. It's so relaxing, um, and it's like the perfect way to end the day. It really is. The way that we're talking about this, you probably think that both of us should have rated it higher than seven. No, but. it's great. Like, <laughs> but I can see how it's not everybody's cup of tea. But yeah, for sure. If you try it once, you'll probably like love doing it. Yeah, forever. So, so get if a. If you've never done that, yeah. go do it. Get a hot drink or something to snack on, and just go hang out in New York. All right, go for um, your number six. Maybe we'll have the same one again. So, yeah, my number seven was the same as yours. My number six was the tribute store. Oh, yeah. So if you want to go to your number six. Uh, my number six is to cast interactive spells around the Wizarding World. Yeah. It's really good. It's one of the best, like, most interactive things that you can do in a theme park. I think yeah. they really did it right with the interactive spells, the interactive ones. So that was my number six. Yeah, that's... Uh... I don't have that at all on my list, but it is a great thing to do. Like, you know, There's no way. Yeah, That's not on your list? No, not on my list. Um, and the reason why is like, I think I could, go, I could go a trip without doing it and be okay. Like, I like that it's there. I like being able to do it, but like, you know, there are other things that I would like rather do than cast a spell. That makes sense, but I think that if you have kids... That you definitely yeah. need to do it. And also, if you've never done it, then you need to yeah, do it. Yeah, if you've never done it, you definitely need to do it. Like, we've done it a lot. Yeah. And, like, I like I know what happens. So. For sure. Like, it's a good thing, If no you've doubt, done it but... a lot, then obviously yeah. it's not, like, that big of a deal. But I would argue, and I'm going to argue this later, but I would argue that, like, the reason Hagrid's is going to be high up on both of our lists is because we don't get to do it a lot. And that doesn't really make it, like, the best, <clears throat> biggest must-do, but, like, I don't know. What makes you think you know Hagrid's is on my list? Oh, Hagrid's is on your list. Best theme coaster ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably is. All right. Anyways, All right. go to number uh, five. Number five. Um, so my number five is stay on site. Like, a lot of times it's more expensive to stay on site and... You know, some, some factors may not allow you to stay on site, but I would always prefer to stay on site if I could, just because the ease of transportation. It and the hotels are nice. Like, we always have good stays. Um, and just being able to catch the bus, like, to and from the parks is so so much easier. I 
Totally agree. Not mm. on my list. Mm. But I don't know. I just feel like there are things that you're saying that yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's definitely a must-do. But if yeah. I narrowed it down to 10, then I'm talking about, like, specific things in the parks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew yeah. our list I guess I was talking like about this. my trip as a whole. Like, like staying on site's pretty great. My number five is going to be eat at the Leaky Cauldron and get a butter beer. Yeah. I just think that the Leaky yeah. Cauldron is so well themed. Like the Three Broomsticks is good too. Yeah. Um. So if you'd rather eat at the Three Broomsticks, that could also suffice here. But I love the Leaky Cauldron. Yeah. Yeah. It's it a did. Great breakfast. So well themed. Yeah. It uh it didn't make my list, but it's it's really good. Like it was on my short list, but it didn't make my top ten. Um. Uh, so what am I on number four? I think we're on number four. Or is it your number four? I don't know. Go ahead. All right. So my number four is. Walk through Hogwarts. Shut up. And do not ride the ride. Shut up. <laughs> Mine says walk through Hogwarts and bail. <laughs> and walk bail. through Hogwarts That's right. and bail. So walk through Hogwarts and s- definitely skip the Forbidden Journey. I cannot believe that's your number four. <laughs> it that's is. Wild. It could have been higher too. Like I considered it putting have. it higher. I was going to put Honestly, it higher I too. Did. So if you've, if you've never been... To uh, to Universal Orlando or seeing the Harry Potter world, like this castle is unbelievable. It's magnificent. If you're a Harry Potter fan, like it is, you once in your life you need to see it at some point. The ride honestly is terrible. Like yeah, Forbidden Journey will make you sick. It's like notorious for that. So that's why I say bail. Yeah. But walking through the queue is worth it. And honestly, I want to slow walk through that queue. Yeah. I feel like every time people are like running to get on that ride, I'm like, you're missing understand. everything. You're missing the the best part of the ride. The best part is the queue. Like that <sighs> queue is a 10 out of 10. It's the best thing. It is. There's uh, no queue better. I love it. I love it. I feel like every time we go on it, we're like just taking it all in, and like letting people pass us. <laughs> They're <know>? like running <laughs> up behind us and we're like, please go around. Like oh, I do not want on this yeah, ride at it's, all. Um, it's so good. The detail, uh, just you know, every everything from the books and the movies. It's perfect. It it's so good. It almost went higher on my list, but mine too. Mine too. Now that we've talked about it, I kind of wish I would have moved it up. I think. Listen, it was either number four, or number one for me. <laughs> <laughs> no in between. <laughs> no in between. Two and three, no chance. <laughs> All right. Well, that was crazy. I'll go on to my number three. Yeah. My number three is the Velocicoaster. Oh. Well, that's kind of a hot take. It's a Velocicoaster. Um, yeah, so obviously the Velocicoaster is on my list. Yeah, I didn't know where you were going to put Probably it. Probably higher than three. Well, obviously higher than three. Um, what? <laughs> you have to know the rest of my list. Yeah, I know. Why it's I know. Three. Yeah, okay. So okay. maybe we'll just get to that. So my number two was the Velocicoaster. All right, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Velocicoaster is... Like she said, objectively the best roller coaster that I've ever ridden. Um, how sure. smooth it is. The smoothness of that coaster is absurd. So. The launches, um, the top hat, like it's most roller coasters climb, you know, take some seconds. That one just shoots you to the Launch. top. Like Launch. unbelievably fast. You don't even know you're doing it. Uh, it's, it's an out of body experience. It's great. Um, and to, on, let me add to that, the queue for the Velocicoaster is incredible as well. It is. It's very good. Yeah. It makes our top queue list. Yeah. It's, um, if you're scared of thrill rides like that, like, and you don't want to ride the Velocicoaster, that's another queue that I would recommend that you just walk through. Yeah. If the weight's a little lower, that's yeah, worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't wait, you know, 60 minutes to walk through the queue, but if it's a low weight, it's worth it. I will say that Velocicoaster is also better at night. Yeah, most things are. Yeah, that one, that one definitely is with the lights and. If you have a chance to ride the Velocicoaster coaster at night, do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, even if you're scared of it, like just do it. You won't even know that you're on it because it's such a wild experience. But when it's over, you're like, "What the heck just happened?" It's great. What the heck just happened? All right, so my number two. Yeah. You're gonna literally freak out when I say this is Hagrid's. Whoa. <laughs> it's Hagrid's. Hagrid's. Well, now I'm just trying to think of what your number one could be. <laughs> I know. I knew you were going to do this. It Go just, ahead. Yeah. It just is what it is. Okay, so Hagrid's is probably the best ride I've ever ridden. Hagrid's versus Rise of the Resistance. I don't know. Like, it's tough for me. Like, that's how mm. good Hagrid's is. 
I literally cried the first time I rode Hagrid's. It was in the oh. rain. It was like misting. And it was like <laughs> at dusk. It was like the perfect experience. I was like, it was, listen, it should have been my number one, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I can't think of what your number one could be. Just, just talk about Hagrid's. Okay. What do you love about so it? Hagrid's is my number one. Yeah, um, we know. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, it's the nostalgia. Personally, it's to me, it's better than the Velocicoaster, but I know objectively it's not. Uh, I love. It's the theming. It's the theming, probably, but also like the feel of the motorcycle. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, and just the elements within the ride that you can kind of see. <clears throat> when you're riding the Velocicoaster, you're going so fast that it's like it's just a thrill. It is a thrill. When you're riding Hagrid's, it's also a story. It's a story, but it's also a thrill. Like, I'm thrilled on Hagrid's, but For also, sure. like, <clears throat> there are Harry Potter elements that, that I also like and respect. Yeah. Um, and that sneaky one part got me the first time. Oh, like, my gosh. Yeah. I'm not going to say what it is, but... It, it's sneaky. Because if it there are people out there yeah. who haven't ridden it... Like, we purposefully did not spoil ourselves. Yeah. Like, we were no never going to spoil ourselves on Hagrid's. And when we wrote it, that's why I cried. Like, <laughs> I had no idea it was coming, and... It got me. Amazing. Um, it is an amazing ride. And it also has launches, too. Like, yeah. you're just on a motorcycle. It's really cool. I just, I just, I love it. It's... I love Hagrid's. It's the must-do yeah. of must-dos. And they have a sick t-shirt. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's, it's got a sick t-shirt. We haven't bought it yet. Like, why not? <laughs> what, what's our problem? We're buying it in like three days. We'll yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we well, say that every time. We got a pack light. <laughs> yeah, we're flying Frontier, guys. So this is going to be interesting. We might mail it home. <laughs> All right. You ready for my number one? Can I guess your number one? Sure. I've been racking my brain. Okay. Is it, is it, is it Nocturne Alley? Morgan no, and Berg's? It's just Diagon Alley in general. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I love Diagon Alley. Yeah. There's literally no better place in any theme park ever. You can't convince me yeah. that anything is better than Diagon Alley. I just respect, like, the architecture, all the shops, the storefronts. It's perfect. Yeah, like, it's... there's nothing better than Diagon Alley. And so, it topped the rides for me because, yeah. honestly... I could just spend all day in Diagon Alley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's it's immersive. It's so detailed. Uh, the architecture, the way the buildings are kind of like curved. It's perfect. It, it's just, it looks like it's fun and wizardy and it just takes all the elements of Harry Potter and the books and the movies and it's 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 so cool. And Nocturne Alley too. I thought, because yeah. Nocturne Alley almost made my list. Uh, I was including Nocturne Alley and Diagon Alley. Yeah, I was just talking yeah. about that whole area of the park. Yeah, it's... It's unbeatable. It's the, yeah, the ice cream shop, you know. Like, if you said you can either have Hagrid's or you can have Diagon Alley, I'm choosing Diagon Alley. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. That's why it's my number one. Yeah, that makes sense. That That is sound logic. So, yeah. make sure you go to Diagon Alley. Don't yeah. miss it. No. I would literally be so upset if someone missed Diagon Alley. And <clears throat> make sure you find Nocturne Alley. It's right past the Leaky Cauldron. Yeah. And it's just the most immersive, best theme park experience you could have. Yeah, I love it. It's good number one. I agree. I'll switch mine. That that would be not my number one. <laughs> what are we kicking off the list here? <laughs> Nothing. Do it all. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's going to be it for our 10 must-dos at Universal Orlando. We hope you guys got something from that video, maybe something that you're going to try on your next trip to Universal. Yeah, and again, if you guys do anything that's specific to you, like let us know. We'd love to try something out that's a little different. Um, and outside of that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you can uh, stay informed on all our future content. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. We'll be at Universal probably. Yeah, we will. Ah! Watch the live. <laughs>